Welcome back everyone. So this is a quick tip. If you usually struggle to get your resin prints uh, over winter, I know a lot of people usually keep their printers uh, over a external building like a garage without uh, insulation or heating. So as you can see today here, uh, 10 degrees centigrade. It's not the coldest. I've printed in, in a lot colder, but um, I start to struggle uh, around this temperature. So the solution for that would be warming up the at least uh, the internals of your printer so i found this mini heater on amazon i'm gonna link the affiliate link in the description as you can see it's very compact this is the output of the the heat and my idea was to leave that inside the enclosure so it fits really nicely if i could leave it here like this but the problem is with the output on the on the top it's really hard for me to put the lead on the bottom, as you can see here. So I need to drill or get something in to get the uh, harnesses in. And of course, the button will be a little bit of a struggle. Of course, if, if I put this upside down, the flow will go to the bottom. So there is no way to hit the enclosure. So what I thought was to secure that externally maybe here on the sides but for me i think the best option would be to mount that on top like this and because of that i didn't uh, you can drill the the acrylic and and just mount it but i've designed a few things that i'm gonna be uh, leaving the link it's in tinkercad for free so essentially i'm gonna be replacing this acrylic by this uh, plate and mounting the system in so as you can see in this model of the photon it's very easy because i just need to remove this and replace the plate but in the newer models you just drill the acrylic to put this all together is very simple you just remove the six bolts that secure the acrylic plate in place and then reuse the very same bolts to attach the new plate with the hole Get some M4 bolts to secure the bracket in. I designed this to be uh, modular, so you don't have to have multiple heaters. If you run multiple printers, you just slide them off and put a, a, a blank plate on it. And pretty much job done. Uh, as I said, I designed it so you can easily remove the heater. So this is just a bracket. You slide that in, you have the, the cavity there. But if you don't want to run it or you need to swap it uh, over multiple printers, you just put a blank on the top and you're not going to get dust or anything inside your, your vat. So link is in the description again. It's free on Thingiverse. And that is the solution that I come up with. Now, I have another step that usually helps me uh, even during summertime. So uh, I'll show you in a bit what I usually do over the winter. And this is how it looks like when it's set up. So uh, I've left it running for about five minutes. And as you can see, the temperature inside the enclosure is already over 30 degrees. By the way, you don't need to leave it running uh, for the full time you're printing. The, the curing process itself, it's a, it's a thermic reaction. So it will release a little bit of heat. What you need to help is during the first few layers, especially where everything is cold, especially the bottom layers and everything. So the viscosity of the, um, the resin allows you to get that uh, layer. Uh, but in case you're wondering, that's the running uh, consumption. So 130 watts and based on my calculations that I've done before here in UK currently, that's probably going to be like seven, six pence per, per hour. Uh, as I said, once you got to temperature, you take this off and you can blank it and put the heater in other printers and, you know, just leave it, leave it running. Uh, if you don't like this solution, you can also just get the bracket in and screw into the sides. I know the new photons doesn't have this lead, so up to you. So as I said, this is something I've been doing regardless of the temperature. So I always warm up uh, a little bit my resin before I pour that into the vat. So you get a kettle with some warm water, it doesn't need to be boiling. Just get a bucket uh, deep enough for you to 
leave it soaking for a few minutes and pour the, 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 the water in. Uh, as I said, that would help you with reducing the viscosity of your, your resin and that would help you build the right thickness, especially in the first few layers uh, where the, the, uh, the bed will be very close to the, the vat. So leave it soaking there for a few minutes whilst you're warming up the, uh, the enclosure and that will be perfectly good for you to start printing in 5 to 10 minutes during winter times. So I left it soaking for uh, a few minutes. Temperature is dropped a little bit to 24 because I was opening the enclosure a little bit, but that should be more than enough. It's hotter than it is here in the garage. So what you're gonna do now is just print, essentially. Uh, I'm just gonna pour that into the vat so you can see the, the viscosity. Um, you want to have <clears throat> something like a texture of a, a milk type of thing uh, not too thick and you, you guys printing with resin know very well that thick is is usually very hard to pour and to you know transfer from the vat to the bottle or anything and always shake your resin bottles uh, I'm using Sunlu not sure you can see it but I'm using Sunlu water washable um, resin which is very good yeah, with the post processing i'll leave the link in the descriptions if you're interested as well um, and i'll pour that into the vat right now so you can see the consistency see how how thin that is so as i said that would help a lot in the um keeping the thickness and allowing all the resin to flow. So sometimes you have failures during the winter because you don't have enough um, film of resin building up where you should be curing. Uh, make sure the vat is, is secure as usual. And let's just start printing. Just securing here my print bed, turning that on. And of course, I'll put the heater back on. Uh, by the way, the the fan, the extraction fan that you have in the in the printer itself should help you with uh, the motion inside the chamber. And an hour later, this is the print. So as you can see, managed to get pretty much full bed. Temperature outside still around 10 degrees. So this is how I print over the winter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.